WWE could be moving WrestleMania 41. Plus, Tony Khan offers to reimburse CM Punk for surgery costs. And AEW are scrapping titles at AEW Dynasty. It's all in the Cultaholic Wrestling News right now. WrestleMania, more like Wrestle may be near at the moment. Am I right? <laughs> oh my god. Am I right? It was there on the plate for you, Tom. Ba -ba 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 uh, now, there's been a lot of conversation about Mania 41 in the fact that there hasn't been a lot of conversation about Mania 41. Normally, by now, we'd have had an announcement as to where next year's WrestleMania is going to emanate from. A lot of signs pointing towards Minnesota, but it's not been confirmed yet. Nick Khan spoke at the World Congress of Sports Convention, didn't say where WrestleMania was going to come from and said, don't believe anything until it's confirmed. Minnesota and Las Vegas in the front running for that. That we know, we talked about that a bit yesterday. However, it's not just the location of WrestleMania next year that is up in the air, but also when WrestleMania is gonna be. As Nick Khan said, uh, he, he talked a lot about WrestleMania stuff, but Feifel did some digging following that Nick Khan talk. Yeah, they did. They said Khan noted he didn't plan to go head-to-head -head with the NCAA Final Four, which led some to think perhaps WrestleMania could return to March, where 15 events have been held before. However, Fightful has learned that the possibility of WrestleMania happening in May has been broached as well. WrestleMania. That's exactly what I thought and I was like, <laughs> I feel like they would go straight for that kind of marketing as well. It WrestleMania. Would, it seems like it's a, it's an easy bit of marketing that is. In terms of moving it, I it's, it's interesting because for as long as we've known it, WrestleMania has kind of been at that point in the year, March, April. Mm -hmm. May is sort of where you start to get the gears rolling on the new year. Lots yep. of reasons why WrestleMania has always fallen there. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I've always put it down to the fact that it's the end of the financial year. Yeah, of course. Yes. So yeah. it's a big payout when mm. you might need it the most. <laughs> um, it's uh, also, I think, in terms of like the temperature for a lot of the places they go to. Yeah. It's if you do an outdoor events, maybe it's it's pretty cool. But obviously, bear in mind that most of uh, the WrestleMania is sort of between four and twenty-one. 22 well, indoor events. I guess yeah. that doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a, it seems like only a subtle change, but it would be one that would make a, a very different looking calendar for the year. Yeah, definitely. I like. I guess will we still not have a pay per view sort of between then Royal Rumble? Oh no, because we get uh, Elimination Chamber as well, don't because we? Because you can't. Yeah, because because normally hmm. you've got you've got Royal Rumble, Rumble you've got Elimination Chamber, Chamber, and then you've got Mania. Mania. And so it's a three month run. And this is gonna move it to like four, maybe five, depending on wow, where yeah. in the month that it runs. So, you know, because I mean, is this the return of WWE Roadblock? Oh, no. Of NXT <laughs> Roadblock before, I wonder if but... they just don't, and then they just do have a, a longer, just a longer run up to WrestleMania to, to just build all the storylines mm. uh, leading up to it. Uh, it'll be interesting to see at least anyway, but yes, I feel like out of everything, I do feel like the WrestleMania thing <laughs> is uh, is what they will be push pushing to market, but also not going up against, you know, like the NCAA makes sense to make it. I'm assuming that from WrestleMania 40, they'll now just want to keep going bigger and bigger and oh, bigger and bigger yeah. and bigger and not to go up against any sort of competition will help that massively as well. I think Nick Khan also talked about looking to host WrestleMania at a time and places where the weather is better. I know the weather played a big part of last uh, this, this year's WrestleMania yeah. uh, with Michael Cole doing weather reports throughout <laughs> WrestleMania, which was nice to see. It was like he's doing local radio. It was brilliant. Uh, and, and it did play a factor, I think, you know, because the, the, the cold in the arena, you could tell, Especially on night, on night one, one. Yeah. it like, really affected the crowd. So you want to be going places where either you're going to have lovely weather mm -hmm. or where you have a retractable roof. Yes. So you can keep everybody warm yeah, and snug. Yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah. Uh, I, believe the, I believe Minnesota, the, where the Vikings play, has a retractable roof. I think. Maybe. Maybe. But they haven't announced Minnesota yet. They haven't. Said so, didn't it? No. Yeah. Uh, AEW presenting Dynasty this weekend. Tony Khan hosted a media call yesterday. Several big subjects in that media call were broached, including the airing of a certain bit of CCTV footage. Yeah, so when asked about the decision to air the CM Punk Jack Perry footage, Khan said TBS praised him for the numbers the show did. He said the TBS ratings are the number one source of fan feedback. Tony believes what they 
they did added further intrigue to the books and FTR match as well. I think we all know it was a very silly thing to do, but TBS <laughs> have gone and said, we loved you for that. Look at them numbers. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what it comes down to, doesn't it? At the as end of the day. As, yeah, that's it. Punk came up uh, twice in this media call. The other time was when, uh, when Tony Khan talked about how surprised he was to hear what CM Punk said on the MMA Hour with Ariel Hawani, where he said that he paid for his own uh, surgery for his torn triceps. He paid for that out of his own pocket. Tony Khan said he was very surprised to hear that Punk had paid for his own tricep surgery. Uh, said that AEW typically covers those expenses. And to that end, Tony Khan made a very public offer to reimburse CM Punk for any costs that he accrued having tricep surgery. So if it is the case that CM Punk did pay for his own surgery, Tony Khan has said, send me the bill I'll sort you out. So that's a, if that is the case, I think that's a very nice gesture. Absolutely. I'm just like, I'm a bit confused at how that happened in the first there place. There is a question around uh, administrative um, foobars yes. within AE Dub that will remain. Uh, but as regardless, one we will keep an eye on. Uh, he also uh, took a question about the news that we talked about yesterday regarding uh, the spurious ruling from the Athletic Commission. Yeah, so when uh, Tony was asked about the Oklahoma Athletic Commission threatening action against AEW for Nyla Rose's match in the state last December, something the commission says violates their intergender wrestling rules, Khan says he is disappointed by the commission's stance and says the company stands behind Nyla Rose, which they 110 million percent should do good on Tony for that sure so the, if you missed this yesterday when we talked about it the uh, Oklahoma State Athletic Commission say that when it comes to combat sports there are rules against men versus women fighting and because in their eyes, Nyla Rose uh, is, is transgender therefore it violates that ruling now one, Nyla Rose is a woman, get over it, you cowards. And two, I don't want to say this too loud, just in case, you know, it's, it's a bit like ruining Christmas, but I'll just Do they do they know wrestling's not real? Do they know it's do they know it's scripted? I mean, maybe we shouldn't break I don't the want to say it too loud in case on. they're listening, but but it's predetermined and it's not like a real yeah. it's not like boxing, which is like properly it's just, it's, just, it's just a weird stance to it's take a weird, isn't it? it's, it's they're all just a bunch of weirdos in yeah. that athletic commission and a really nice people from oklahoma and i don't think many of them are on that board yeah. just <clears> a <throat> thought just a thought um also in the media call tony khan talked about the upcoming media rights deal being the most important for the company in its history he expects the availability of the full library to be part of the next media rights deal that they sign i think they're desperate to have some sort of streaming platform yeah. where people can watch old episodes of dynamite mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. It seems like a given that when you have um, that nowadays that everybody has streaming services and ways you can go back and watch older episodes. And I think you're missing a trick. Obviously, you've got it through uh, Triller and, and other places like that where you can watch old episodes of Dynamite. But I feel like it's something that AEW needs in house. They've mm. got it with Honor, with Ring of Honor. They've got it with Honor Club, uh, and lucky they have because they haven't got a TV deal for Ring of Honor. Um, but. Currently, AEW say they are still in the exclusive negotiation window with WBD. And uh, as, as it stands, they will look very likely to, to keep hold of AEW programming. If not, then they'll be offered out to the wider world. Mm. Uh, there was also some uh, some praise for a new signing, courtesy of a new signing itself in AEW. Yeah, so uh, Tony credits AEW's new head of global production, Mike Mansuri, for the hiring of Carlos Cabrera. Uh, Mike had listened to fan feedback to upgrade their Spanish language presentation, and Mansuri is also fluent in Spanish, which is which is why he which knows. Which is handy. That he's, yeah, <laughs> it would help, wouldn't it? Uh, my Mansuri is driving some new sort of creative uh, takes within AEW. Uh, he's helped in terms of putting together like the new stage and the new feel for the show. Uh, there was a we we shared something on our Twitter at Cultaholic, and it was uh, that sweeping Shot. camera mm. that followed of, up the ramp and around the ring, and I think it looked beautiful. I think yeah. a lot of people went. Oh, but WWE did that. Yeah, but uh, whatever. It matter, it's does still it? a, it's, you know what? It's it's good to steal if it's good stuff to steal. Yeah, exactly. No, Except for sure. gold doubloons and the Mona Lisa. Don't steal them. <laughs> <laughs> I've told you before. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, but I, th I thought it looked great. And you know what? It's if it is a case of they have lifted this idea from WWE, which you know what? Get it. 
what a, what a great thing to steal. It looks fantastic. <laughs> it looks brilliant. I mean, it's a good thing to take away. Ma Mike Mansuri has been listening to fan feedback. That's exactly what you want, That's isn't it? That's really? what you want. It, you know, yeah. you listen to what the fans want and you take pieces of that and that hopefully helps the product grow into something that, that people are really excited about watching, you know? And also credit to Mike Mansuri because he was trained by Kevin Dunn. So oh. the fact that Mike Mansuri had a camera shot that lasted at least <laughs> 10 seconds would have had Kevin Dunn have in conniptions over. Like, <laughs> don't show him that, he'll cry. Uh, now, Khan also talked about Dynasty this weekend, in particular, the match between the AEW Trios champions, the acclaimed and Daddy Ass, and the ROH Six Man Tag Team champions, the Bang Bang Gang. Uh, Khan revealed that in that match, it's winner take all, and one of those titles will be scrapped as a result. Essentially, mm. they are unifying the AEW and the Ring of Honor trios titles one will be scrapped the other will continue onward and i think that's absolutely the right thing to do yeah for sure which set gets scrapped though oh, oh gee i, think, I, I wonder think... <laughs> the ring of honor <laughs> ones uh, or the aw ones uh, i wonder who they'll choose no yeah you're right you're right yeah apologies i, I, I i'd love to be <laughs> love to be wrong on that but i'm pretty sure that they're going to end up whoever ends up keeping them they're going to just be recognised AEW ones. Come on, I don't Bang think, Bang Gang. Come know, on, Bang Bang Gang. Yeah, that's. I, I think I think Bang Bang Gang and they become AEW trios champs. Yes. I think that's kind of where we go. More Jay White, please. Yeah, Phew. you know, it's 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 not like oh no, you're not going to have those titles on Ring of Honor TV. You don't have titles on Ring of Honor TV anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Watching you. <laughs> so anyway, uh, it's this weekend is AEW Dynasty. Nine pitches waiting for you on the channel right now. Andrew came up with a great one where Hook just batters Jericho, and I'm here for It'd it. Be nice, wouldn't it? It'd be a lot Lovely nice. day. Uh, check out the predictions with myself and Ross Tweddle, who <gasps> returns to live reactions. What? I know, you're what? busy. The impossible has happened, everybody. Yeah, it is. I found a picture of Ross and I from uh, 2019, uh, not long after I signed with Cultaholic. And yeah. Brother, we are destined to do this dance forever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Ross and I will be doing live reactions on Sunday night at youtube.com slash cultaholic slash live to AEW Dynasty. Come and watch it with Ross and I. We'll have a lovely time. Uh, you can check out the What Happened at as well with Jack the Jobber as well after the event. And for the latest wrestling news throughout the weekend, follow us on Twitter at Cultaholic. Kiss, kiss. I love you, bye.